wouldn't be in the state that it's in. The fact that these things, I mean, look at this. They are saturating the United States, especially my side of the country. And I think we found the reason for it. And it's pretty straightforward. This is a patent right here for nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors. Now, what does that mean? It means just what it sounds like. Here's a few diagrams from the patent. Do you see this? Does it make any sense now why they need everyone to have the highest resolution possible flat screen in their home? Why is it that that's all a rage? Why is it that they have gone through great pains in keeping people sitting in front of their televisions, laptops, computers, and cell phones? Because every single solitary one of those devices, first of all, is a scrying mirror. Now, what is a scrying mirror? If you follow my channel, you probably have a really good idea. It's quite similar and along the lines of a crystal ball, except it's a black mirror that's used to conjure otherworldly entities, things from other dimensions, things that you're not supposed to communicate with. And yet that's exactly what we're doing every single time we turn on one of our devices. Does it look familiar? Dream time. Does it look familiar? Do you see any resemblance? Because it's exactly what they are. And now this patent, patent number 6506148B2. Actually, it's J2. 6506148B2. The abstract of this is psychological effects have been observed in a human subject in response to stimulation of the skin with weak electromagnetic fields that are pulsed with certain fre frequencies near a half a hertz or 2.4 hertz, such as to excite a sensory resonance. Many computer monitors and TV tubes, when displayed pulse images, emit pulsed electro electromagnetic fields of sufficient amplitudes to cause such excitation. It is therefore possible to manipulate the nervous system of a subject by pulsing images displayed on a nearby computer monitor or TV set. For the latter, the image, may the image pulsing may be embedded in the program material, or it may be overlaid by modulating a video stream, either as an RF signal or as a video signal. The image displayed on a computer monitor may be pulsing. This shit's crazy. I don't know how many people have seen this before, probably a lot of people, but probably not a lot of people that are subscribed to my channel. So I figured I'd just uh, share this little patent as Richie from Boston presented it. Um, you can look it up yourself. I've done it. I just figured since he made the video, I'd just use this little piece of his video instead of uh, going and looking it up and making my own. Most effectively by a simple computer program. For certain monitors, pulsed electromagnetic fields capable of exciting sensory resonance in nearby, nearby subjects may be generated even as the displayed images are pulsed with subliminal intensity. How long have I been telling you to turn off your television? How long have I been telling you that it's all going to come through the flat black screen? There's a reason every single solitary screen looks exactly like a scrying mirror that goes all the way back to Queen Elizabeth, John D. This goes back. This. All right. That's you get the idea. I just wanted to share that little bit of factual information, at least definitely factual as far as the patent goes and the technology.